How's it going? And welcome back to my channel. For this video today, I'm going to do six nights of dinners. I had a lot of requests for my meal plans and how simple everything is using that system. So I thought that I would show you what my little family is having for dinner. Every night for dinner, we are using simple ingredients, time savers, and really everything is Ava toddler approved. So stay tuned in the video for some great recipes and meal ideas. If you're new to my channel, my name is Angela. I do videos on all things to do with mummy and lifestyle. So click that like and subscribe button down below and let's get cooking. Okay, so for supper tonight, it's just gonna be really, really simple. Some pre-packaged items. I'm gonna make a side dish from scratch and then something else, again, from a package. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> So in one of my last grocery hauls, I picked these up. It's the Smoke and Stampede pork back ribs. And these are really simple. You just, uh, you can actually cook them from frozen on the barbecue or thawed. These are the President's Choice brand from Superstore here in Canada. I know that you can also get a version of these from the M&M food market. So we're gonna give these a try. We are gonna use a Nor Sidekick in the butter and herb flavor. And then Ava loves corn, so I'm gonna make some plain corn for her, and then I'm gonna make a spicy corn for Mirka and I, using up some of these jalapeno peppers. So, let's get cooking. Okay, so I was gonna go outside to barbecue, but this storm just rolled in, and I don't think that that's gonna work. I know, Ava's so sad. She wanted to go outside and play. That's okay, monkeys. So I looked on the back of this box and it says that I can do these ribs in the oven. I've never done it that way. I've always just done them on the barbecue. <laughs> so I've never... <laughs> so I've never done these ribs in the oven before, but it says that you can, so I guess I'm gonna give it a try. Oh, well there goes our barbecue plan. Oh well. Oh shucks. Oh, shucks. <laughs> Ava, are you gonna be okay? Are you okay? <laughs> oh, the struggle. For these ribs, it says to preheat the oven to 425 and cook for 30 to 35 minutes. It is already six o'clock, so I better hurry up. Okay, next I'm gonna get working on this corn. So it's just plain corn and some jalapeno peppers. It's gonna add some olive oil to my pan with also a teaspoon of butter. Let that melt and then I'm gonna add in the corn. I'm also gonna add just a little bit of this Clubhouse Tex-Mex blend. cooking the ribs on the barbecue as opposed to the oven. And now it's dessert time for Miss Ava. I cut her up some strawberries and grapes. She did really good with her dinner. She ate most of it. However, she's not very happy with me right now because she wanted ice cream. Right, Ava? What did you want for dessert? She wanted a chocolate milkshake, but I told her she has to have strawberry and grapes. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, have a good night. Okay, eat your strawberries and grapes, please. Put it in your mouth. Oh wow, she's making like a little boat. <laughs> I don't care, as long as she's eating her fruit. Good girl. Hey guys, how's it going? Well, today is Monday and it is a miserable day outside. It's been raining, it's even been snowing. Last time I checked, it was May the 4th. We've had enough of snow. So in order to keep us warm and cozy, today I'm just gonna make a really, really simple 
turkey chili. What I love about this recipe is that all you have to do is chop up some peppers and throw everything in a pot and leave it for an hour or so. So I have some minced turkey and then I've chopped up a red and yellow pepper. I need some garlic. A tin of diced tomatoes. I only have the ones with Italian spices, that's fine. Tomato paste, a tomato sauce, and then I'm going to use this Clubhouse chili mix with 25% less salt. Ava has never had chili before, so we're gonna see if she's gonna like this. It's, I'm not gonna make it too spicy. I told Merrick that he can add in his own spices after the fact. And then to go along with this chili, I'm also just gonna make some rice in my rice cooker. I forgot to mention this, to start this recipe off, I'm just gonna cook up some of these frozen diced onions from M&M Food Market. I've talked about this before and these are a lifesaver. Now a quick tip for you guys is that I always have a garbage bowl next to my cooking station. It's just a cooking bowl and I just put like a shopping bag in it just to catch all of my garbage in it so I'm not running back and forth to my garbage can. That way when I'm finished cooking, I can just pick this up, tie it up, toss it out, and I'm done. And then speaking of chili, I wanted to talk to you about beans. So Merrick's not a really big fan of kidney beans or beans in general, so sometimes I add in just a little bit of kidney beans but you know what, I didn't have any on hand and I had some leftover black beans from a Tex-Mex salad that I did last week. So I'm just gonna pop in a few of these, but not too many because he can always tell. So the chili is done and it looks delicious. Then I just set up like a mini chili bar. I got some shredded cheese, some avocado, and then I cut up some green onion and some fresh jalapeno for Mirk. And then I have fresh cooked rice here. Ava's not a fan of rice, so she's gonna have some leftover garlic bread. Here is supper. Here is Mirk's with the fresh jalapenos, green onion, cheese, and avocado. I'm doing the same except no jalapenos, and there is Little Miss Ava's with garlic toast and just cheese. How's dinner? Yummy! Awesome! Awesome! Ava approved! Good job, Ava. Hey guys, for dinner tonight I am making tacos because it is Cinco de Mayo! And what else do you make on Cinco de Mayo but tacos? So, for dinner tonight I am going to use this great Old El Paso dinner kit. It has hard and soft tacos. It comes with taco sauce and your seasoning. We've used this before and all of us love this, especially Ava. And I'm just going to set up a nice little taco bar, so come cook with me. But before we do, I just want to say cheers! I know that this family of mine will gobble it up. So we got some charred taco shells and soft taco shells and I just popped those in the oven to warm them up a little bit. We got some Tostitos salsa con queso. We got some taco meat, taco sauce, limes, I had some green onions, chopped up tomatoes, lettuce, and cheese, and of course, for Papa Bear and me, a Corona. Happy Cinco de Mayo, guys. <laughs> Say Happy Cinco de Mayo. Happy Cinco de Mayo. So it's a new day and it's dinner time. And tonight I'm actually cooking two different things and I know I'm breaking my own rules, but Ava has been asking for hot dogs for a while. So Ava's gonna have wiener wraps and Mira and I are gonna have spicy breaded chicken Caesar salad. So here are the spicy breaded chicken breasts and we get these from M&M Food Market 
and then I have some croutons and some romaine lettuce and some Caesar dressing. This is such a simple dinner. And then Ava, hot dogs and wiener wraps. easy dinner, required zero effort from me. Ava wanted hot dogs to so hear some wiener wraps and I've cut them up into small pieces. She loves her ketchup and then she needs to eat some veg so I just have some mixed peas, carrots, and corn here. And then this is our spicy chicken Caesar salad from Eric and I. What are you having for supper? I'm having hot dogs. Hot dogs! And are you gonna have your veggies too? You can eat your hot dogs, but I need you to eat your veggies too, okay? Oh. Lewis, are you gonna have some corn? Kayla, Don't you do have it. Corn? Don't do it. Go to mood. And have corn. What do we say to corn? See you later. See you later. It is time for dinner and it's time for a new recipe. So tonight I'm making chicken teriyaki meatball bowls. I already had frozen chicken meatballs, so I'm not making those from scratch, but I am making the teriyaki sauce from scratch. So I don't know if Ava's gonna like this recipe. She loves meatballs. She's not a fan of rice, but Mirik loves Asian flavors. For this recipe, I need some frozen chicken meatballs. I need some low sodium soy sauce, rice, uh, I, this recipe recommends for broccoli, but Mirik and Ava aren't fans of broccoli, so I'm just gonna use a pepper, some green onions, half a cup of brown sugar, and half a cup of water, ginger, cornstarch, and garlic. is that it has an attachment where I can put my veggies inside and as the rice cooks, it steams your veggies on top. So I'm actually gonna steam this orange pepper. I just spread it all out. Pop the lid on, and away we go. The second clove of garlic. Two teaspoons of minced ginger. And then I just made a bit of a slurry with the water and the cornstarch. And pour that in. And the cornstarch will help to thicken up the sauce. It already smells delicious. Okay, that did not take long at all, but look how nice and thick and delicious this teriyaki sauce looks. This is gonna coat the meatballs so nicely. So here is what's for dinner tonight. We have a chicken teriyaki meatball bowl with basmati rice and steamed peppers for Mirik and I. And then for Ava, I cut up some plain meatballs. I put the sauce on the side. She really likes so I give her peas and then a little bit of rice. So hopefully this is a winner for the family. Okay, honest review, I don't think Ava loved it. She's not a fan of rich sauces. This teriyaki sauce honestly is fantastic, but it might be a bit too strong for her with all that ginger. So I'm getting some plain meatballs down for her and some peas and a little bit of rice, but Mirik and I loved it. And honestly, can I say honestly one more time? The Mirik and I- Angela, thank you so much for dinner. It was just so delicious. Mm. But Mirik and I- I love you. <laughs> You're my soulmate. Honest review <sighs> for this toddler. She likes the plain meatballs. I think this sauce is a little bit too rich for her. There's a lot of ginger in it. The sauce for Mirik and I is awesome. And I think I'll definitely add this sauce to my mm. recipe Rolodex, but maybe not for her. So we made it to Friday. And for tonight's dinner, it is nothing new, and I'm sure this is on everybody's meal plan rotation, but this is a family favorite of mine, and it is spaghetti, spaghetti bolognese. 
I have a real uh, secret family recipe that my husband said I'm not allowed to share. So I'll show you some of my details behind the scenes, but my little girl, she will gobble this up. Well, who am I kidding? We will all gobble this up. So for the ingredients for this spaghetti, we have some lean ground beef that we get direct from an amazing butcher that we have in town here. I have some diced tomatoes, tomato paste, tomato sauce, some Italian seasoning, garlic, spaghetti, you know, the usual ingredients. I think the secret's all just in the amount of love that I add to this. The first thing that I'm gonna add is some really good extra virgin olive oil to my pot, and then I'm gonna brown up some onions and garlic. Okay guys, well this is the point in the cooking process that I have to stop filming or else I'll give away too many secrets to this amazing family recipe. So I'm gonna stop recording, I'm gonna put the camera down, and I will see you at dinner time. So it's almost two hours later, and now it's time to boil that pasta. All right, well if this doesn't scream comfort food, I don't know what does. Homemade spaghetti bolognese. Oh wow, look at you. Mommy, eat the pasta too. Spaghetti is always a winner in this house. All right guys, well, this is the end of the video. I hope that you enjoyed it and got some recipe ideas and maybe some more meal ideas. I'll talk to you guys soon, bye.